match tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, local derby game. The castle's playing Sunderland. Should be a hell of a game. Yeah. Yeah. Got a couple of free tickets if you fancy it. Nah. Yeah. Uh, just a thought. Thought we could have maybe had a couple of beers after the game. I mean. Who's your team then? Don't have a team. <laughs> Every bloke's got a team. Not this bloke. Where's Ben? Uh, well, he's back on the street, sir. As you suggested was the best thing. What I said, Sergeant, was I thought Spender's talents lay in the gutter rather than behind a desk. Aye, right. Uh, same thing, I reckon, Mr. Gillespie. He's where he's best employed. So, I'll start again. Where is Spender? Well, do we have a case number? A file? A reference? Do we have a phone number or a post restant? Pardon, sir. Post restant, Boyd. It's French. The post restant. I've no idea where he is. Can I give you a hand? Astrid. I know why you're leaving. Was it such a terrible prospect? No. But that's another reason for going. Can we still be friends? I hope so. I better get this in the car. It's beginning to stretch my own. Derby match. And he knocked it back. What sort of a bloke is he? KGB. Hey? Eh? KG bugger. And you gave him my ticket before you gave it to me. Well, you were always my second choice, Dad. I didn't tell Gillespie you were in the glass works. I sort of lied. Said you were under deep cover. Deep cover? Sounds suitably mysterious. Any joy yet? No, you didn't give anything away, this feeling guy. How'd you get onto him? Terry Noel. How did Terry get onto him? He got a phone call tying feeling to a security van blag that went down in Bristol a couple of years back. One guard shot dead. And there's no form on this guy. No. I've got his prints of a tea mug, but nothing. <laughs> he may be completely straight. Well, he's obviously not from round here. How do you reckon that? Might turn down the ticket for the game. You want anything? Tea.
Got a mate called Wiz. Yeah. Why? To the hospital. Wiz? What happened there? Motorcycle accident. Kids today, you cannot tell. You little turds wander off your patch again. You're going to be watching the next two-home game from down there. Now, where's Blakey? I don't know. I don't know, man, honestly. I know he'll be tonight. <laughs> Spender sitting in though, isn't he? Oh, he'll be by later. Sometimes wish I did this, you know. Good crack, lot of laughs. Always like hanging with musicians. Never got beyond selling them a bit of door plate. <laughs> hey, Keith. Just for once. Could I not bang a tambourine, you know? Hit a cosmic bell, maybe. You missed the sound check stick, what can I tell you? I reckon most music's been crap since the king anyway. Aren't you being a bit unfair on the Bay City Rollers? That's his logo. Always comes around same time, early evening. Doesn't stay long. Takes a couple of bottles home, in a bag. Lives round here then? Amazing it. A couple of streets away. Check out the name on the rent book, would you? Why don't we just get some of the boys up from Bristol? Take a look at his mug. Because the guys who did the blag in Bristol were wearing masks. It would help if I could get him to open up a bit, but he's as tight as a clam. Look a bit obvious if I just went walking in there, wouldn't it? But not with you. Me? Yeah. You're a mate. You live round here. Look at the time, man. What am I going to tell my Doris? Hmm? Promised I'd mow the lawn. Deep cover? Deep shit, more like it. Hello, Joe. That's a bit of a coincidence. I've never ever been in here before. <clears throat> Says Dan, he's a mate of mine, he lives not far. Says Joe, I work with Joe. Ah. How'd you do? Nice to meet you. Give Dan your ticket to the match. Ah. You miss out. Your local too, is it? Yeah, I suppose it is. I haven't seen you here before, though. Me? No, no, no. Well, sometimes like. His wife, I think, he never lets him out of the house. <laughs> Get you another one, Joe? No, no thanks. Uh, you got a wife too, have you? I live with my sister. She's having a bit of a rough time at the minute, that's why I'm up here. Oh, from where, Joe? South. Right, I'll best be off. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, that's for sure. Nice meeting you now. Yeah, you too. Some fell on stony ground. Hmm? It's the Bible. Forget the whole quotation, but you know what I mean? Some of the time.
Get him in. No, you're all right. I'll put some in the water box for you. No way, man. Have a proper drink. He's all right. Don't walk up. Bollocks. Bet. Okay. Who's he? Blakey. I've known him for years. He gets a out of it. Really sorry. Is it the effect of my debilitating illness? Or are we just too old for all this shite? Do you alright, Pet? Yeah. Have you seen Blakey Keith? Not since we finished. He's just disappeared. The bag's in his car as well. No money. I'll give you some cash for a taxi. But the van's not going your way. Which way are you headed? Eaton. I can give you a lift. Are you sure? No problem. Great. I mean it. No problem. You'll probably find your fella stretched out on the settee or on the doorstep. We don't live here. I mean, he's got a key, but we don't live together. You know, something goes on a long time. We just accept it. Whether it's good or bad. It's like that with Blakey and me. Well, it's none of my business, really, is it? No. Well, thanks. Nice. Bye. Is that the old car they're looking at? Can I help you? Is this your car? Yeah. Use it at the weekend. Some of the time. Why? What do you mean coming down the station, sir? Are you off your friggin' trolley, lad, or what? Hmm? Sending uniformed Bill down to a stakeout? Having them haul my horse in here? What are you playing at? 
I've had a word with the CID lads. It, it wasn't their fault, though, really. They were just following procedures. What procedures? I don't think I sugared this. Dan, what procedures? Tanya Conway. Well, is that supposed to mean something to me? What is it? No, Dan. I gave a girl a lift home on Saturday night. Her name was Tanya. Tanya Conway. Late on Saturday night, early on Sunday morning, someone beat the living daylights out of her. The thing is, a neighbour clocked a registration, wrote it down. Your registration. Now, I know that doesn't mean... Well, you know, I know, I know you, we shouldn't... I mean, I personally know that you would never. You could never. Well, that's all right, Dan. I, I understand. Oh, thank God for that. Oh. Well, I, I mean, I'm sorry about giving you such a visible pull. Probably sunk your chances of a skull with feeling. Not necessarily. If feeling's the type of guy that we think he is, you may have just done me a favour. Really? Mm. Where's the girl now? RBI. But she's not talking. I'll send a couple of our lads over to see if they can get Don't it. do that, Dan. I'll go. Spend her. There's procedures. I think we've had enough procedures for one day, Dan. Don't you? I would have been here sooner, but I only just heard. How did you hear? I got arrested. Mm. Sorry. How did they know about you? I said nothing. You said nothing about anything, as far as I can gather. These things happen. You read about it often enough. Never think it like that. Tanya. You weren't robbed. You weren't raped. It wasn't random. Somebody came looking for you. Who was it? Your boyfriend? No. Of course not. I've told the police everything I know. Have you? What's it got to do with you? I just thought you might want to talk to someone. I hardly know you. I'll go and have a word with this sister. See how you're doing. Mm -hmm. Get well soon. What's the story on this guy, Blakey? Who? That clown from the gig. I gave his girlfriend a lift home. Tanya. I told you I've known him for yonks. He used to be one of the roadies. One more big. Still a partner, Gala. So what of it? So what does he do now? Spending you sound like a policeman. I am a policeman, Keith. Well, you never used to sound like one before. Not with me. I never thought I'd need to. Not with you. 
Look, if you want to talk to Blakey, I've got his address somewhere. I shouldn't think you'll be there. You see, on Saturday night, Tanya got the shit kicked out of her. And I think whoever did it was looking for your friend, Blakey. She okay? Just. So what does Blakey do? He's a fly-by night. Hmm? He puts up fly posters. He put up a load for the gig, but that was for free. Mostly he works for London people. Record companies, publishers, promoters. But it's illegal. Well, that's why I didn't want to drop Blakey in it. No, I mean, how does he work for major companies when it's illegal? Well, they cover their asses by contracting them under the assumption that he's got legitimate sites. It's not their liability if he sticks them up in your grand's garden shed. Does he have legitimate sites? Wasn't he? Only because of his maid's business. I wouldn't bother if I was you. You're best off out of it. There's two people in hospital, man. And if this guy Blakey looks to get squared up, there'll probably be more. Yeah, but you weren't briefed to do this, though, were you? It's not a police thing. There's cowboys running riot out there, man. Of course it's a police thing. You sound like wired up. I'm going to clean up this town if it's the last thing I do. Hey, I suppose I'm your dog holiday. <coughs> I've told you not to gobble those crisps down so quickly. No, no, that's dog holiday. He had TB. Cord sharp, gunslinger, and chronic constructive. Do you not watch the magnificent seven? Yeah, focus your outstanding intellect on that. What is it? It's an address. I followed Blakey and another guy from the hospital. Blakey bailed out at the station, so I stuck with the other guy. So... Night work. Yeah. What are you going to be doing? Overtime at the glass factory. Well, can't run. Well, yeah. you should try to get me a day of Harry H's. That's a bit. Maybe she wants you back. Maybe she wants to tell you that she can't live without you. Can't live without us. How come she's not already dead? <coughs> what the police want with you? It was a mistake. Got some form, see? From way back. They give me a pull every now and again. I think my mush adds a little authenticity to their ID parades. Rise and shine. What time is it? Ten past six. You looked like sleeping beauty. I thought if I kissed you, I might have turned into a handsome frog. Been up all night? Been tagging the flyboys. The what? They fly by night. You get it? Blakey picked up our boy in one of the round about two, two thirty. He went down the central station, picked up some posters from parcels. We're at the coast road from Wall's End down to Tynemouth. But here's the killer. We were sticking them up on legitimate sites. They even popped one on the police bulletin board. Cheeky. Madness. I used to know boys used to do this when they were on the dole short of a few bob. Police would turn a blind eye. Got better things to worry about than some rock star's latest albums defacing the beauty of some dilapidated fence. 
But you start sticking them on legit sites, you bring the heat down on yourself. Unnecessary heat. <clears throat> oh. I'm gonna get a wash. You did well, Stick. You doing this for the last? Hmm? Could have a thing about this, Tanya. I've got a thing about what happened to her. I heard you've already had a run in with uh, this Gillespie. Captain Warm. Yeah, he put me behind a desk at Lunacy Central for a while, but even he realised that was a daft idea. I think he was just flexing his muscle, you know. You know, my mate and personnel pulled me file as soon as Gillespie checked in. So he's just found out about me. Pity. Bender? And you're Noel, are you? Until Friday, I didn't know you existed. Can you explain that? Well, I've been pretty deep, sir. Tell you the truth, I didn't know you existed either. My predecessor apparently was content to give you people a long lead. Pull you in occasionally for a pat on the head and a biscuit. Not anymore. I want to be informed. Do you understand? So, no. As the man who never was, perhaps you'd like to put me in your picture. Slow week, Mr. Gillespie. But I heard about this old woman lives in a big house up by the airport. She's terrified, it seems. We sent the uniform up there and, uh, well, she nearly freaked. So I'm going to find out what's happening. Missing cat, perhaps. Rumours, you know. Fortune under the bed, that sort of thing. What about you, Spender? Trying to get in with a guy who might be on the lam. That's American parlance, sir, uh, for on the run. What? Armed robbery a couple of years back, maybe. Let's do this again, sir. We will, Sergeant. Listen, Cap. you really care? I've been worrying about it since the weekend. I know, but I've checked out the house where your man Phelan's staying. A woman's a widow called Patterson with two young'uns. Works on the Team Valley trading estate. Neighbor looks after kids. Don't know if she's got a brother. So I'll keep working on that. Okay. Well, listen, you're likely to get a complaint in today from a hoardings company about poster pirates defacing sites. Even plastered a police bulletin board, so you should know soon enough. So what of it? You just keep me in the picture. What's all this about? There might be something. Now look, if it is, Gillespie will want in on it. He insists. I know, that... I know. He insists on being kept informed. I've had the speech. Well, so what do I tell him? Don't. Not yet. If things get a bit out of hand. Then we make it official. I can't keep you awake, can I? It's just passing. Yeah, I don't believe that. How are you doing? Felt better. Probably go home tomorrow. Good. There's a kid in the next ward who knows your guy, Blakey. Wiz, yeah. Works for him. What happened to him? Came off his motorbike. Work related, was it? I don't know. Why are you asking? Just curious. Yeah, well, I wish you weren't. I 
right, Pat. Really? I gave Tanya a lift home on Saturday night. You didn't mention that, Pat? Wasn't in the best of shape, was I, Pat? Keith told me about what happened. And I felt bad about it, you know. So I just thought I'd call by. I see. Right. Glad to see you feeling better. Made a key, sorry? Yeah, that's right. Dan got the call from the hoardings company, but it turns out that the posters don't belong to Blakey's team. It's part of a contract on its way to a guy called Phil Duffy. He was supposed to pick them up at the central station, but when he got there... Blakey hijacked them. Met the train on the dot. Possibly the only train in history's arrived on time. Might have a bit of a turf war. Maybe Duffy put Blakey's boy in hospital, and this is his way of getting back at him. Maybe. What about this Duffy? Got foam? Little bit from way back, nothing heavy. Nice house up near the airport. His official business is ticket touting. For a company called Gigs Galore. I know him. I got Rolling Stone tickets off him a couple of years back. I think we should pay them a little visit. I'd like to put a face to this guy, Duffy. Didn't have an address. Is a telephone number and classified? He has got an address. They're in North Shields. How did you find that out? Stick, I have the full resources and backup of the Northumbria Constabulary at my beck and call. Could you get them to shred my parking tickets? wanted some tickets. Just called in on the off chance. Ah, well, he wants tickets. Your phone. Who told you the office was here? I don't know. Some guy in the pool, wasn't it? The bloke we were shooting pool with. The hand and flower. That's right. Can't remember his name. Good pool player, though. Shit hot. Took me for 50 quid. Right bloody shot. Ah, well, what do you want the tickets for? City Hall. 25th. Four of the best. Evil-looking bastard. Mad eyes. Mind you, when I was in the nick, there was this bloke in the next cell to me, looked like Charlie Manson. He was only in for pinching a bottle of milk. 88 quid for four tickets. I'm gonna have to make this official, or I'll never get me exes back on Gillespie. Oh, hey, kid, we'd better keep the 25th free. Hmm? Well, you do like the... Mormon tabernacle choir, don't you?
know. I'm at work, Dan. Well, glass cutters don't normally get calls on mobile phones. But now? All right, all right. This is not a good idea, Dan. They pay you well at that glassworks. I just wonder whether you were making better money than we pay you. You seem to be stringing this one out, Spender. I just haven't had a break yet, sir. But Dan's running checks. And if nothing breaks by Friday, we hand in our cards, yes? If you like. You're the boss. Anything else you'd like to tell me? Some illegal fly posting going on. A couple of teens spoiling for a war. A guy by the name of Duffy I'd like to pop. I can't help thinking you and DC know could be better employed. We'll discuss this on Sunday. The ferry. Good place. It's only five minutes from my scotch club. door down. Everybody dive on the floor. Make the collar. Swell the studs. Next case. The trouble with my job is I've got to try and convince people that I'm working when it seems like I'm doing nothing. It takes instinct, patience, means hanging in there when your gut's the only thing that's telling you there's a reason to do so. A bit like pulling a woman. I'd rather pull Duffy. If only I had a reason. Catch you later. I'm not dying, am I? What? The stick was over here half an hour ago. Was he? Wanted some posters for the next gig. Said he'd like to put some on. Posse together. Hmm? I think Duffy's about to make his move. What do you mean?
strange kind of fellow what packs his job in these days. Fancy celebratory pint? Nah, better not. If you change your mind, I'll be in Monty's tonight. Made of mine's doing a gig there. Ta-da. See ya. I'll be out on bail tonight. I'm gonna be looking. Ah, oh, do yourself a favor, Duffy. I'm in with civilized entrepreneurs, man. Enough's enough. You reckon? Ah, oh, take the wallpaper your house, man. The posters on my wall were saying Moreland's marauders. You used to work for Keith Mole and the finger points your way, pal. Not guilty. No? Who then? I don't know. I have an idea how we might find out. Now I'll get that. How much do you make? There you go. Cheers, Joe. My name's not Joe. It's John. John Ives. I don't live with my sister either, I live with a friend. Well, you gotta tell somebody sometime, haven't you? You live a life, they'll screw you. They say your sickness are your secrets. Shrink told me that once. I said. I'm sorry, John. Yeah, go on. Oh, I just gotta tell somebody, that's all. Why me? You're all right, Jim. You're no friend of the law. Aren't you? It's a long story, mate. Don't go away. But all we want to know is who had your posters, man. Look, Blakey, I can't help you. What more can I say? That kind of decision could be very detrimental to your well-being. All right, though. Who's the geek? I don't think this is your kind of gig, pal. So, as I was saying, I'm on the run. Oh, yeah. Since August. Just August? Yeah. From the army. I was in Belfast. Saw a lot of bad stuff out there. Then my wife left me. For a sergeant. Mate of mine. Ah, you know, one thing and another. Right, shit brain. Let's see if this is your kind of gig. Get you a good deal on the glass. The ferry? That's what you said. I meant near it, not on it. Oh dear God. <sighs> Is it possible you could conduct any of your activities without destruction to human limbs or private property? I'll bear it in mind, sir. What about your man, Phelan? What's happening there? Bum steer. 
I had him pegged all wrong. He's clean. All a waste of time and effort, was it? Not entirely. I got some nice cut glass figurines out of it. And your sweet old lady in the big house near the airport? Found out some terror we have some Crudders Park were putting a squeeze on her. Wanted 20 grand for her husband. Kidnapped. Been dead six years. What? We're going to dig him up, hold him for ransom so she can buy him back. Same time next week, Mr. Gillespie? tomorrow at 10 past 11 but stay with us here on UK Drama as a memorable series continues. The Secret Army is in action after the break.